Welcome everyone to today's video and I am doing a very special one for you. This is the ultimate free to play guide in Game of Thrones Legends. As you can see, this is my free to play account that I recently activated and we were able to get the 50 summons as part of this special gift. So when you're starting up an account, you get this great summon where you have the chance to get Daenerys, Ned and Ghost and it only costs eight of the tokens to summon instead of nine so you get really good value and daenerys is a top tier quality character so that was a no-brainer for me so what do you have to do first you have to look at what you have and you have to work with what you have for a time there's going to be a lot of patience involved as you can see here i'm kind of working with a fire and ice synergy i want to go with Brittle and Ice with my Archer, Brawler, Lord of Bones, have Daenerys, and I am close to unlocking Ned Stark. So this brings me to my second point, which is to summon with a plan in mind. You have to just do as much as you can until you acquire these summons naturally through the game. Um, I recommend with the purple tokens, which give you the color summons, I highly recommend either you go for green or blue. Green because you get Marjorie, who is a top tier character for a healer. She will let you cheese the egg event and she has an AOE heal. So she heals everyone on the team and has triage which is the lower their HP is, the more effective it is. And then when you get to higher levels, you get nice things like Renew. Um, and it, it's just great overall. So I've seen three-star Marjories just do wonders in the higher tiers. Um, so I would recommend the Green Summon to focus on. For me, for my account, I'm going to go with Blue. Blue has Ned Stark and also Sam. And they're both great. Ned Stark is going to be my leader for the ice team. And that's going to be good. Uh, Samwell gives a shield. So I think that I will be able to use him and cheese level 10. Um, you could check my other video that has how to cheese the dragon egg event. Um, and that's what I'm going to do with that. So have a, have a game plan in mind of what you're going to summon. Um, right now... Um, for the green summons, you're going to want to go with something that's going to help you out. Uh, right now, you have Daenerys and Grey Worm. Daenerys is a great character. She is a top tier character who's going to help you get through a lot of content. But make sure when you do these summons that you save because it's going to take a lot of summons and you don't want them to just go one star. You want them to go two and three stars and above. So it's going to take you time. So you have to work with what you have and then build. Get as far as you can in campaign and that. You know, like if if you don't want to go with Daenerys and I'm going for Ned, for example, I can go with Caitlyn Stark. There's a Caitlyn and Baelish option. And Caitlyn Stark is a pretty good healer, has a lot of good effects, gives brittle, you know, so she's... She's great. So if I want to go with that brittle team long term, I would save and hoard my tokens for Caitlyn Stark. But work with what you have now. Log in every day because the login bonuses are pretty good. Um, they do add up over time. Some of them are good, but they're mostly good. Um, use your basic summons as much as possible. Your basic summons and always summon the 10 uh, so you get a discount. You get a 10% discount. This is going to grow your roster. So let's see what we got. Oh, nice. We got five shards of Alistair. That's pretty rare. Okay, so as you can see, I can rank up some other people. Um, but we're not going to do that. So make sure you do your summons. Summon the daily summon all the time. But only do it when you have um, nine so that you get the maximum value. Your... Uh, purple summons and your green summons hoard 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 you might need 140 150 pulls um, to get good rates 
but hoard until you get something that you need and have a game plan in mind. Um, the next thing is to do your dailies. Make sure to do your dailies. As you can see here, you have weekly and daily goals. I'm gonna claim this to finish this because you will get either a red token or the purple token. Let's see what I get. Okay, I got a red. So that's gonna progress my guys even further. You do need role players. You Everyone wants all legendaries, but you need all good role players to help your team for synergy. Synergy is very important. So the gold road, you might be tempted, but on the king's road, you are getting resources. As you can see, I just got some resources here. Um, you do get some pulls, campaign energy, more pulls, more pulls, shards, you get, you get a decent amount, nothing great. You do get three greens at the end, pretty much. And then after, beyond tier 50, if you just keep playing it and you keep doing it, you're going to get more and more summons. This is going to progress over time. This is patience. The big whales that spend a lot of money in this game, uh, they want it right away, and they want it now, and they want what they want. But free-to-play, you have to use your resources wisely, and you have to do that. Next, let's talk about the egg event. The egg event is a great event that you're naturally going to get some really good characters over time. You're naturally going to get Rhea. You're going to get Allison, who is definitely the best single target healer in the game. You're going to get her over time. She's amazing. And you're going to get uh, Kristen Cole, who, who is okay. Um, so you're going to get those three characters and you just want to keep focusing. The best way to beat it is to go with speed. So you want to just keep powering up. This game really helps you when you build tall, not wide. It's like a sniper rifle approach. You want to get them as strong as possible and use your resources to build a team that's efficient, has synergy if possible, and can get you places. Then the other thing you want to do is, you know, with this egg event, you're going to get lots of summons. You're going to get lots of currency, equipment. It's going to be every two weeks. So you can keep churning this out and just hoard, just hoard, hoard until you get enough summons, until you get to the next step and progress, progress your game plan. Always, another thing, always be building. As you can see here, I am working, always work your fortresses up. Um, right here, I need a farmer level seven, an iron storage level seven. Um, so right now we have the iron storage going. And for farmers, we have we need more food to level up. So I'm going to upgrade right here. Always be farming. Always be farming. Another thing we want to do is always use your energy. Look at my energy. It is at three of 27. Do not let it waste. Even if you have to auto a battle while you go to the bathroom or do something else, just use your energy. You need to get these resources. You will rank up. You'll level up. You'll get better resources and good stuff over the game. Um, the next thing is keep progressing in the campaign. They just nerfed the campaign and they made everything easier. And the campaign gives you rewards. So not only does it give you gear and spell books and such, but it gives you rewards. So you want to naturally progress through the campaign. You do want to get to hard and treacherous because that gives you the epic gear and that's what you want to work on. So definitely do that. Um, for gear, um, you, can, you can upgrade them, but I wouldn't recommend upgrading common gear. I would recommend upgrading epic gear. Once you get epic gear, especially if you look at over here where it says subclass bonus 15%, if you have a bunch of those on a character, you are in good shape because that's going to make them so much stronger and you just upgrade and you level them up and it just costs a lot of food. So that's why you always have to be building because when you build, you get more resources and that helps. Next thing you want to do is join an active alliance. Uh, I'm actually in an alliance that has the Legendary Assault. Uh, as of right now, my main account does not have it. So as you could see here, you're fighting the dragon 
and you have rewards that are based on where you are on the leaderboard. So if you deal any damage, even one attack, you're going to get Squire. I don't know what these rewards are, but I will find out shortly. Um, you do get three attacks for this battle, and that will help you out. So that's more resources. And that's supposed to be, I believe, almost every day. So definitely join an active alliance and um, you will be able to get rewards. There's probably going to be more modes coming out, like a war. So you definitely want to work on that as well when it does come out. This game is brand new, brand spanking new. Um, let's talk about the next thing, your raid battles. You definitely want to do raid. Raid is a great source of free-to-play resources. You will start at the very bottom in Bronze 3, and every week you have a chance to get ranked up to the next level, which gives you more rewards. If I advance, I go to Silver, which starts earning me the Purple Tokens. Now watch what happens if we get to Gold 1. If we get to Gold 1, we're going to get four of the green tokens and five of the purple tokens in addition to the gold currency gold dragons and you're going to get the drago shards regardless of where you place so you're eventually going to get a seven star legendary character this drago is going to be good with the free city synergy it's going to be an amazing team boosting crazy stamina um you just basically want to go through your leaderboard. Right now I'm in second. And you want to attack the people in your leaderboard so that you can get plus 30 points. This one says 61. I don't know why it says 61, but in my other account, it's usually 30. Um, but this is where you get the most. And this is the promotion zone, remaining zone, and there is no demotion zone. But you want to keep advancing here. You'll get tons of resources. Just work up your raid team and do the best you can over there. Uh, be patient because this is a long game. This is a marathon, not a sprint. So it will take time to get there and where you want to be. But as you keep working and as you keep grinding and doing these events, you will get stronger. You will get the summons necessary to progress right now. We do not have close to enough, but I did get Daenerys, who is a great character in the game. She has a very fast skill with AoE, and if I do want to go with fire, Rhaenyra uh, does... I'll eventually get Rhaenyra in the egg event, so she will afflict fire and make Daenerys more powerful. Plus, there's the Mender, and there's also the Maester for the Targaryens, that are available with the pulls that you get for free currency in the dragon event. So if I want to build a fire team, which I just did a video on how effective the fire team is, uh, that's another option as well. So I would definitely, for the summons, hold your summons, have a plan. Uh, for example, like I said before, I recommend new players to get Marjorie. If you did the offer, for the renowned and you do have ned it might be a good idea to get sam so you could do the blue summon but i do recommend the green summon because it's an aoe heal with triage which is great and then focus your green currency on some piece that you need in the puzzle again we want to save to like 100 to 150 summons it's going to take time but you will be rewarded. There's too many people that I see with one, 21 star characters. What does the one star do? Nothing. It does nothing for you. So you're going to build up these shards. And as you can see, I'm almost ready to promote the brawler to three star. Your commons are going to be uh, fueled high over time. And they're going to be stronger. And they're synergy pieces. Like if you see Archer. Archer, 70% chance to inflict two ice. Brawler, when they're brittle, he stuns them, and then he has a move to do four potential ice on a target. Lord of Bones, another good ice character. He does an AoE with ice, and it does bonus damage if they're brittle. Then when an enemy dies, 
there's a 15% chance if you upgrade it to four star, you have, uh, if you upgrade it to six star, actually, it goes to 25%, but you could get up to three ice on each character when one dies. So that's super powerful. Add that with Caitlyn Stark, who gives ice, and also um, Ned, and you've got a pretty powerful team right there. Some people have gotten Ghost. Ghost is okay, but he doesn't really have the synergy uh, pieces for it. Just work with what you have. As you can see, my roster here right now isn't perfect. It's not where I want it to be, but it's at a good place to start. I'm looking forward to doing the egg event at the next go around and see how I do. I have a lot more experience and I'm really excited about this. So I hope you guys follow these rules and you will grow your account. You will do better. You will progress in raid. You will get more. We don't know where you could go. But I think free-to-play players have a good advantage in that they can be laser-focused and not just get every single new character that comes out. Just focus on a team, work them up, and do that. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more. Comment and like, and you guys take care.